Hello, hello everybody! Mama Bear here with Saturn Living Garden. It is August 2nd. It is super duper hot. We are expecting to get a tropical storm Isaias tomorrow. But today it's been a beautiful day and I just noticed I have a couple figs ready. So I wanted to show you some. I, let me tell you, I am super excited. I hope this fig is good. All right, this is my Smith. It is one of three trees I have. I acquired three Smith trees from a JFE last year and um, they did not like uh, the transport and they got here and they were just really sad looking. But um, then they started growing and um, I had this particular tree you're looking at right now actually was in the best shape last year. I did not have any figs, but the tree itself was in a very good shape. Now, the other two I have in ground as well. These are my three in ground trees because why not, right? Put three Smiths in the ground. So. This is my second Smith. That one um, was pretty badly um, beat up last year from the transport, but it did uh, come back and it grew really strong this year. Unfortunately, this one just wanted to grow and grow and grow. I've been pinching it and pinching it, trying to get it to fruit, but nothing happening here except for this one little fig here, which don't know if it's gonna happen and this is my third smith and forgive me the bare branches uh, we have um, really really humid weather here and they just get a lot of rust and fell off but the trees are doing fine so um, this one is my third Smith fig and that one um, was pretty beat up last year too and then this year when I had to grow 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 I pinched it early and this one did give me two figs so you can see that one here is almost ready I really hope it's not gonna get messed up and the uh, rain we supposed to get today and tomorrow it's such a beautiful big fig now this one let me show you this it's it's pretty substantial in size but like i said it's pretty hard it needs at least two more days and let's go back to this tree um so if I was to compare the three trees, the other two were badly beat up last year and then this year they were just growing and one put out one fig, one put out two figs. This tree was really quite pretty last year and this year it actually didn't grow much, um, which was quite disappointing. It grew, I mean, very, very little, maybe two inches on each branch. And it literally just put out one or two figs on them. I think I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I have like eleven figs on this tree. And this one here, I noticed it today. It's got a lot of sugar spots. Do you see that honey? That's the one we're gonna try. Okay, let's get this off the tree. Whoa, I just dropped it. Oh no, come back. Oh, all right, here it is. Let's get that honey coming out of it. Lots and lots of sugar spots. Hopefully it's not spoiled or molded. It was not brown yesterday, I don't know. Just, this happened overnight, literally. Let's 
go ahead and cut into it. Before I cut it, let's weigh it. So this is a tiny little one. It's only 22 grams. And the one that I have on the tree ready in a couple days, that one is at least double the size of this one. So they kind of vary in size. But this is my first fit, Smith fig ever. So let's try it. So what I'm going to do, I might actually go ahead and do a video as well of that air fig that's bigger and we see how it will hold up in, in that tropical storm coming up. Maybe, maybe it will soften up by tomorrow evening and I can snatch it even though it's supposed to rain all night and all day. But um, let me try this one and then I'll go ahead and um, do two fig um, tasting on this particular video. So this is what it looks like inside. Like I said, it's my first Smith ever. So let's try it. Oh wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh that's pretty tasty. Oh that is good you guys. Um doesn't look like it would be good. You see how, I don't know. Usually when people have figs that are yummy, they like filled with redness inside and purple and red and all those colors. This one, soft as can be, sugary spots. It's definitely not spoiled. Honey dripping, sugary spots, but, um, you see the honey glistening inside of it? Yeah, it's it's delicious. It's delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. And then I'll try to catch a review for you on this one. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's sweet. It's so sweet. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. I can't tell you what it tastes like. It just tastes delicious. It tastes delicious. It tastes sweet. And I'm looking forward to eating this big baby. I might put some kind of like a chandelier over it so the rain doesn't ruin it for me. We'll see. All right. See you later for the second tasting. So it's the day after the storm Tuesday. And this is what the other smith looks like that was not ready. It looks like it's pretty soft all the way around right now, so I'm gonna pick it. Um, there we go. It is really ugly. It is true what they say about smith figs. Pretty ugly figs. But, as you can see, the juices are swimming out of it. All of these dark spots look like uh, sugar spots. They don't look like mold, but we'll find out. And let's go ahead and cut into it. So this one is a little bigger than the last one. This is 53 grams. So this is more what I've seen Smiths look like inside. It's nice and red. It looks really beautiful. Let's me take let me taste this one. Mm. It is really really good. Very tasty. Okay, well, I'm super excited for my Smiths this year. Thanks for watching you guys. As always, subscribe, hit like, and come back later to see different fig videos. Take care. Bye-bye.